हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज वाई द थ्री अप्रोचेज टू मेजर नेशनल इनकम आर इक्वेलेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न दैट वाई द प्रोडक्ट अप्रोच इज इक्वल टू द इनकम अप्रोच इज इक्वल टू द एक्सपेंडिचर अप्रोच दैट द प्रोडक्ट इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर अप्रोचेज ऑल गिव द सेम आंसर इज नो एक्सीडेंट द लॉजिक ऑफ दीज थ्री अप्रोचेज इज सच दैट they must always give the same answer let us first start with the case that why the product approach is equal to the expenditure approach the market value of goods and services produced in a given period is by definition equal to the amount that buyers must spend to purchase them let's understand the meaning of this statement through a simple example suppose that the market value of the orange juice is dollar 1.50 this is the this is its market value now the buyer must spend dollar 1.50 in order to purchase the orange juice right that means the product approach the product approach which measures the market value of goods and services is equal to the expenditure approach ye maine ek bahut hi simple example ke through aapko samjhai hai baat ki agar orange juice ki jo market value hai wo dollar 1.50 hai to buyer bhi kitna spend karega orange juice ko purchase karne ke liye dollar 1.50 so simple the product approach which measures the market value of goods and services is equal to the expenditure approach that is the amount spent by the ultimate user okay the market value of a good or service and the spending on that good or service are always the same jo market value hai kisi good or services ki aur jo kharcha kiya gaya hai us good or service ko consume karne ke liye wo dono same honge so the product approach which measures market values and the expenditure approach which measures spending must give the same measure of economic activity now let us see the second case that why the income approach is equal to the expenditure approach the seller's receipts when i am saying seller's receipts that means this can be termed as the expenditure expenditure incurred by ultimate users right sellers ki jo receipts hain main usko aise bhi to likh sakta hu na that it is the expenditure incurred by the ultimate user simple it is in turn equal the total income generated by the economic activity including to ye jo expenditure jo kiya gaya hai ultimate user ne jo kiya hai ye equal hai to the total income generated by the economic activity jisme kya kya aayega first one income received by the workers and suppliers bhai jo bhi unko wages ya salary jo pay pay ki gayi hongi that is the income received by worker and supplier wo unki income ho gayi taxes received by the government and profits received by the owner of the farm so basically this expenditure which was incurred by the ultimate user it is equal to the total income generated by the economic activity and this total income which is generated by the economic activity it includes income received by workers and suppliers taxes received by government profits received by owner of the farm clear thus total expenditure must equal the total income generated implying that the expenditure and income approaches must also produce the same answer now we have seen this thing that total production is equal to the total expenditure and we have also seen uh, this concept that total income is equal to the total expenditure now from equation 1 and equation 2 we can come to a conclusion that total production equal to the total income equal to the total expenditure 
the above equation is called the fundamental identity of national income accounting and forms the basis for national income accounting तो ये जो equation है इसे हम कहते हैं fundamental identity of national income accounting okay thank you